Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So in honor of Avengers Endgame hitting theaters tomorrow, or technically tonight if you go to a Thursday night screening, we are going to throw it back to all of the fun Infinity War stuff, including the gauntlet bracelet. <laughs> so I've got my Infinity War eyeshadow palette from Her Universe and Hot Topic. I've got all my little Besame Infinity War singles, and I've got my Infinity War lip glosses from Hot Topic. I figured I would use these because these actually have color to them, as opposed to the glosses from Besame, which are a little bit more subtle, not so much of a tint. We'll put a little bit on now. So I figured this would be a fun way to kind of use some of these pieces. I'm not sure, I think I'm gonna go with like maybe a Captain Marvel inspired look, maybe embracing the blue, red, and gold colors. I think that would be fun because obviously what I've done before is the rainbow look, which is the most fun to do, especially with the best semi singles because these are super pigmented. But I figured we would just maybe focus on the blues, reds, and golds. That means I can also kind of draw from some of these shades right here. So that's kind of my plan. So yeah, let's go ahead and zoom in and get started. Okay, so I have my lid primed with MAC Paint Pot. I think I'm gonna jump into Eternal, this lighter shade right here, first off with a fluffy brush. And kinda pop this more on the like brow area. It is a bit of a shimmer, so we're gonna give it a little bit of a an icy look. Why not? There's not a lot of mattes to deal with in this palette anyway, so I'm just going to embrace the shimmer. And next up, I'm gonna jump into Infinity, which is kinda the next deeper shade. Okay, so I'm going to jump into the Space Stone Blue shade from Besame. And I'm gonna use a fluffy small brush. And I'm gonna see if I can kind of work this into the crease. We'll see how this looks. We're just gonna try it out. I'm kind of gonna just pack it first and then I'll buff it out. And then just give it a soft little buff at the top. I think I am going to do a little wing out here and I'm gonna cut the crease. So let me go ahead and sketch that little wing out. All right, I'm happy with that shape. So I do plan on doing a little bit of an accent with the Space Stone color from this palette because it's a little lighter and more glittery, but I think I'm gonna cut the crease first and maybe I'll add it as a line afterwards. So let me go ahead and zip through cutting the crease. So I really wanna stick with the brighter yellow tone. So I'm gonna go with the Mindstone color from Besame as opposed to the one in the palette. I might use this gold for something else, we'll see. But this one is definitely going to give me the impact that I want. I'm just gonna use my finger and place this on the lid. Jump in with a brush to fix the rest. All right, so there's our blue and yellow. Now I think I'll go ahead and add that little accent that I'm hoping will work. What I wanna do is take the Space Stone color from the Infinity War palette. I'm gonna use a little tiny angled detail brush and I'm gonna wet it and I'm gonna see if I can do a little sparkly line right at the cut crease like I do usually with glitter. I'm hoping that because it's a lighter shade and a glittery shade that it'll stand out that way. We'll see. Definitely gotta get the brush wet. So let's see what happens here. All right, there we go. So you get basically a little accent from that lighter sparkly blue shade. Super pretty. Hopefully it doesn't like crease or stick too badly with my lids folding. It's always the tricky thing, like when you try out something on your eye, depending on how your eye is shaped, never knowing how it's going to work on your particular lid shape, because you know, I got a lot of folding and creasing that goes on. Okay, that's all I wanna do with the upper lash line. So I'm gonna save the red for the lower lash line. I think I am gonna use both reds. So I'm gonna start out with the Reality Stone shade from Besame, line the lash line with that, and then buff the one from the um, Hot Topic palette underneath it. So I'm gonna use just this little flat 
liner brush. I'm gonna spritz it though, since we're trying to get a nice line. Okay, and then switching to a pencil brush, I'm gonna use Reality from the palette. Now, I remember this one being that chunky glittery shade too, so this might not be the best idea. Hopefully I don't mess this up. I'm gonna try to buff this underneath. Okay, that worked out pretty well. I'm gonna go back into the Best of color though, just to really darken up the lash line area. And then I think I wanna go ahead and connect the wing. For the inner corner, I'm gonna use Cosmic from the palette. For the waterline, I'm gonna use one more Marvel item, which is this little red liner. This was from um, the Face Shop. It was their Face Shop and Marvel collection. It's just a red pencil liner. So pop this in the waterline. All right, so that's it for the eyeshadow. I'm not going to add winged liner, so let me just go ahead and add mascara and lashes off camera. I'll catch the other eye up, and then I'll come back and show you guys which lip I'm picking out. Okay, here we are. These are the eyes done. So I ended up going with the LA Splash Golden Gatsby Sitting Pretty Lashes. <laughs> I kind of went through three different pairs before I liked the way these looked on me. It's like you just needed that really flared look to complement the eyes. Sometimes you gotta try out different lashes before you get the right one. So we're pretty kind of shimmery on the eyes. I really don't wanna go with one of the kind of frosty lip glosses from that collection because they're all shimmery lip glosses. But I forgot I did also have the Ulta, the new collection with Marvel. Um, so, you know, this is an Avengers themed item. So we can go ahead and use this. This one is Amazed. So I'm gonna use this liquid lipstick. And then I think I'm gonna top it with this product. So this is from the Face Shop. This was also um, part of the Face Shop and Marvel collection. It's basically just a like lip gloss type of thing, but it's a red tinted lip gloss. Um, and this is the Iron Man shade. I don't know if I actually said that or not. So I think I might do the matte liquid lipstick and top it with the red matte shiny gloss um, and just see how that looks. You can't get the Face Shop products anymore. So I hate showing you something that you can't get, but it is a throwback video and I haven't used it on camera since that video. So liquid lipstick first. All right, so this is the finished look. Very Captain Marvel inspired. Definitely ready for Avengers Endgame. I have my tickets already for 10.30 a.m. Friday morning, so I'm super excited. Let me know down below if you guys are going to see it and if you're as excited as I am. <laughs> so yeah, that's all for this video. If you guys have any suggestions for what you wanna see in next week's Throwback Thursday video, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.